Welcome back to the Autrix Weekly Challenge with me, Nick Bignall. This is challenge number 58. Uh, this one looks strangely familiar. Basically, we have this strange text format, uh, which is supposed to be on date. Uh, the first number represents zero, 01, represents whether it's 19 or I, 19th century or 20th century. The next two are the year within that century and then the month and then the day and it's got to be converted to a date time out which is a proper date format so it should be relatively straightforward let's first of all do a formula and I think we'll just take the first uh, call it century century and then what we'll do is we'll take that first string uh, so if we go to string and then if we take that first letter so we can take uh, the substring and that's the, the field is date and we want to start at zero and we want to just take the first character first number can be a number uh, let's make it a double uh, so what that will do is give us the I didn't like that because it's a string I think maybe it can be a string yeah, here we got zeros and ones down here uh, corresponding. So we can just write a formula in here that takes the century, and we just want a simple where is a basic if statement. So if century equals and it's a string, so it's in in uh, quotes, then twenty else. 19 okay so that will give us that 20 so we can then take the rest of the date take another formula so we'll just add a column call it uh, rest date and here we're going to use the same same string configuration with substring uh, we'll take the date and we'll start this time on one and the length we want is the remainder of the the string which is i want to say seven let's run it <laughs> see that right am i got that right yeah so there we go so now we can do is just add them again another formula tool add them together so this will be the string date and it's simply century plus rest of date can be a string and that so now we've got it in a, a format that works for converting and we can then bring in the, from the past tools the time to date time tool and this we can take rather than date we can do string date date time pass and we'll have to custom it i believe because there's no none of these are uh, fitting the format so far and it is y y y y now is it going to be month mm i think it will and then day day so that will give us the the breakdown okay let's run that and see what we get Okay, we've not got it quite right. We've got this one in here, so it's not 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 recognising that month. So if we do uh, ah, this problem last time, I'm sure I've done this before. Okay, percent month, that then does it. So, and the other way we could do it, I think, is if we did uh, percent why no why do it no it doesn't like it that okay percent y capital y and then percent uh, d okay and run that yeah so it's given us a similar role using percentages there is is another way of doing it so let's just clean this up 
There's the select tool, so we can get rid of the fields we don't need, which is basically anything in the middle, and then the browse on the end. And there we go. Exact match of the uh, what's in the output. Nice and simple. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.